about to have my last dram of the night, or at least the last one that I'm recording. I started with a... what did I start with? Whisker River, 13 Corners, American malt whiskey being 51% malted barley and I think 34% uh, winter wheat and 15% malted rye or something like that. Next one was a 15 year old uh, Fine Oak Macallan and following that I had a Masterson's Rye 10 year old straight rye very good stuff and now I'm going to have my last dram of the night this one here is I think hard to find but there was more of it uh, where I purchased it tonight I just went by tonight and I ended up buying a Port Charlotte second edition 10 year old uh, for the third time, my third bottle of that stuff. It's just good stuff. Let's see now. Here it says it's a Tullibardine. It's 46% alcohol by volume, which is great. It's matured in oak, old wine Zinfandel casks from the Deerfield Ranch Winery. Um, yeah. Old Vine Zinfandel finish. I'm going to pour uh, a dram of this in a clean Glencairn glass before I read what it says on the bottle. And it looks like this Tully is going to be easy to open. This part was nothing. Oh shit. I just broke the cork. <laughs> this is going to be a challenge. Come on, dude. Come on. Come on. This doesn't happen often that I break the cork like that. But I'm sure that I can find another cork that will fit. <laughs> uh, maybe this one here from the spring bank. Yeah, it'll work. Okay, huh, let's pour some. This doesn't happen to me often where a cork breaks, but who knows how old this bottling is. Oh, the cork from the spring bank works on the Tully bottle. Nice. Very nice. I saved that one. And that was the Springbank bottle that had cold water in it. <clears throat> what does it say on this Tully here? Okay. Old Vines Infidel Finish, Tully Bardeen, Highland Single Malt Scotch, Tully Bardeen Distillery. Okay. Award-winning Deerfield Ranch Winery is a boutique winery in Kenwood, Sonoma County. In 2011, Tully Bardeen bought from Deerfield some of their 2007 Old Vine Zinfandel used barrels. The wine is a layered complexity with a rich and noble finish for the past Nine months, Tillabardine single malt has been finished in these barrels. The result is a whiskey that has a large, lovely cranberry color with red fruits on the nose and light barley. The taste has more red fruit, brown sugar, light cocoa, citrus, and barley. Total beverage solution, Mount Pleasant, South Carolina is who who did the importing of this wonderful stuff. Deerfield Ranch Winery, 
distilled and bottled in Scotland naturally, non-chill filtered, probably not colored as well. Uh, what does it say on the bottle? Award-winning Deerfield Ranch, same thing as it said on the other thing. Surgeon General's warning, blah, 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 ha, ha, ha. Okay. That's another, another one for the wall. Can't believe that cork just broke off just like that. Just, just there you go. Just broke right off. Must have been dry. Okay. Well, let's see if we can nose this uh, little puppy here. Ah. I'm definitely getting the wine finish. Have some water. Maybe you have an oat cake because I was munching on some uh, M&M caramels, which are kind of like my favorite little snack. Got to get rid of that sugar and caramel. Mm. Okay, let's properly nose this. The wine finish is the strongest thing I'm getting. Talabardine likes to use wine. I've had the 228. I have some 225. The 228 was um, was a red wine, I think, finish. And the 225 is a sauterne finish. This is a Zinfandel finish. I get light fruits, mostly grape, like light colored green grapes. Grapes and wine. I'm not getting much else besides the grape and wine finish. I think I'm going to have the rest of this oat cake. And then I'm going to taste this.
Wow. That is different. I will need to do that again. Excuse me. Whiskey tends to bring out the best in me. These little legs are just shooting down the side. Of course, I'm doing everything in the wrong order, right? Mostly what I smelled was the wine finish. I'm getting a... Kind of a note of mushrooms, if that makes any sense. Something earthy, like mushrooms. On the nose, all I got was wine. On the palate, I'm getting mushrooms. And I guess wine. Mushrooms and wine. Strange. The Zinfandel finish is different. I still don't know what to think of it. When did they say this was 2011 or so? Hmm. Barley, brown sugar, a bit of citrus. But really, there is a kind of bitterness, mushrooms and bitterness towards the aftertaste. I'm not sure about this one. I think I'm going to have to let it open up and see what happens. Because so far, it's confusing. Getting mushrooms and brown sugar. And... <sighs> I'm getting tired too.
bit of citrus. But bitterness. I wonder what kind of wood they aged this in because I'm getting tannins and bitterness. Um, don't know. Old Vine Zinfandel. Well, I'm not sure about this one. I'm going to have to come back to it in the future and let you know what I think. And uh, on that note, Slancha. Food quick. <laughs> Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. <laughs> well, I nearly almost forgot. What did this wee tully cost me? This wee tully. According to this thing here, that was uh, 78.89. And um, the goods and services tax was about um, $3 and uh, Ninety-five cents, approximately, and the um, liquor tax was uh, about seven dollars and ninety cents, something like that. That's about right. So, grand total of uh, so seventy uh, seventy-nine. Seventy nine and another ten, but ninety bucks. Ninety bucks.